2,000 years ago, this pyramid was three tiers higher than it is today. The facade glistened with bright paint. But what was the role of the 260 intricately carved heads of the feathered serpent? Were they guarding this temple? Or did they serve another purpose? Snakes guard royalty, they guard important figures, and even temples, because they're connected to the promise of rebirth. So they guard a process more than a place. Was this snake more than just a fearsome protector? Annabeth finds more clues. A carving of the beast carrying a ritual headdress worn by a high priest or king. You can see that the headdress is riding on the back of the feathered serpent. The serpent brings the headdress to the people of Teotihuacan, perhaps to the king himself. And only a god can do that. The evidence suggests that the feathered serpent was much more than an ordinary rattlesnake and bird combined. People here believed it came from a completely different world. It was divine. The feathered serpent is not just a guardian of this building. The feathered serpent is the god. This pyramid was the domain of the half-snake, half-bird monster. From its temple, it could survey the ancient city. Its muscular body showed its incredible strength. Its bright green feathers revealed its powers of heavenly flight. And its terrifying teeth warned of its ferocious hunger. A clue to just how important this serpent god was to the people lies in the location of its temple, right at the very heart of the city. The rulers gave the feathered serpent prime real estate. The feathered serpent wasn't just one of the gods, but he was the most important god. The feathered serpent temple in Teotihuacan is the first of its kind. There was never before a temple quite that large dedicated to the feathered serpent, nor had there been such a fervent worship of this god before. What did the people of Teotihuacan want from their ferocious serpent god? Does the answer lie with how other cultures venerated serpents? What fascinates me as a classicist so much is that cross-culturally we see humans worshipping the very thing that they fear. Snakes are quite frightening and have associations with the dead and the underworld, but they also are very protecting. A snake was said to guard the Acropolis of Athens, and the people would sacrifice food to it, you know, pouring out libations and things like that to feed this guardian snake. The snake might be a protector in Greek mythology, but a Teotihuacan the feathered serpent was far more than just a guardian. The temple of the feathered serpent stands at the heart of this vast metropolis. Sprawling across 20 square kilometers and boasting a population of over 100,000, Teotihuacan was one of the largest cities in the ancient world. The serpent's temple was so important, it was enclosed by a citadel. Walls over seven meters high had only a single entrance, making it easy to defend. So why was this temple constructed? This temple was once one of the greatest buildings in the world. Its true purpose has been hidden deep below its surface for centuries. Archaeologist Sergio Gomez Chavez uncovers its dark secret. Informan de que se ha hecho un hueco frente a la pirámide. Con mis trabajadores me consiguen una cuerda, me atan a la cintura. 
me descienden hasta casi 13, 14 metros. Y es cuando descubro que existe un túnel. La primera vez que, que bajé y que vi la existencia del túnel fue una emoción muy fuerte. También tenía mucho miedo porque no sabía de qué se trataba. Porque sabía que lo que íbamos a encontrar ahí abajo debía ser algo muy, muy importante. But Sergio's progress was cut short as the way was blocked by a huge volume of earth and carved stone. De que había permanecido este lugar oculto a la vista de muchísima gente, e incluso oculto a la vista de muchos teotihuacanos, porque cuando ellos lo clausuran el túnel alrededor del año 200, 250 después de Cristo, queda sepultado ahí, nadie vuelve a entrar. To explore further, he and his team would have to use a small camera mounted on a robot. It revealed an extensive tunnel stretching for more than 100 meters under the temple. It would take over five years of continuous excavation to uncover all its secrets. Y, re y retiramos casi mil toneladas de tierra y piedra, que es el material que los teotihuacanos colocaron dentro del túnel para bloquear y sellar este lugar. Sergio was the first person to enter this secret tunnel for 1,800 years. As he and his team excavated, they uncover ancient hidden treasures. Estaba muy, muy suave, muy peligroso de, de romper. Okay. Their latest discovery is a significant clue to understanding the powerful influence of the feathered serpent. Tenemos evidencias eh, de caracoles grabados con diseños y escritura maya, lo cual indica que hay, una, hay un vínculo y una relación muy fuerte entre Teotihuacán y muchos otros sitios mayas. Sea snails symbolized water, the most precious commodity in the land. But why are they here, so far from the coast? Sino probablemente son regalos que enviaron los élites gobernantes de otros sitios para ser depositados como ofrenda en el túnel. Sergio believes that these intricately carved gifts from thousands of kilometers away suggest that this tunnel could lead to an important and sacred place. What sits at the very end of this narrow passage reveals the true role of the feathered serpent god. Todo el conducto subterráneo nos conduce a este lugar. 